guys, today we're gonna talk about food because it's the most important thing. So first, I'm going to let out the Rose family to hang out with us today during our video. Um, I have David barricaded, I say barricaded, that sounds really bad, but David's been real extra lately, so we have kind of like a wall up because he's been breaking out. Hi, buddy! <laughs> So my pigs are on a routine and at this time of night, this is when it's their free roam time and David is ready for it. So to start, we're going to talk about hay since that consists of like 70% of their diet. And my research and what I have found from watching other people's YouTube, Guinea Dad is a really good YouTube to watch if you're trying to look up nutritional things or really just anything, he's got a lot of great info. But Orchard Hay and Timothy Hay are the hays that you can feed your guinea pigs daily. Because then you get into like alfalfa hay, which has a lot of calcium in it, oat hay. And then there's the whole thing with first cuttings, second cuttings, third cuttings, and from from what I've learned, they say to stick to first and second cuttings and to kind of stay away from third cuttings. I've been using oxbow hay. I use a big bag of the Timothy and then I get the Timothy and Orchard and I mix them together in my bucket. I'm not like in love with it, but it's just so far what I found that works best for me and my pigs. They really like it. If you guys have any suggestions on hay that you really like and that your pigs really like, please comment below and give me some suggestions. I would love to hear it. I've been researching different hays. I either find that the hay that I think would be really good they only come in kind of like smaller boxes and I just I have too many pigs for the smaller boxes okay. so please yes advice Oh, do you want some too, sir? There you go. Hi. You always want more. Okay, so next we're going to talk about pellets. If you get Oxbow, and I'm sure on other brands they might have this as well, but on the back of their bags, they will tell you what percentage should make up your guinea pig's diet. So like on the back of this bag, it says 20% of food, 70% hay, 8% veggies, and 2% treats. So, you know, gives you a rough idea. I have to mix three different types of guinea pig food for mine because I have super picky pigs. Some will eat some types of pellets and some won't. And because I've got, you know, herds with multiple numbers, I try to please everyone. So I use Oxbow Adult. I use the Shearwood pellets, which I actually learned from someone in the comments, which is a really good brand. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're grain-free and soy-free. And then I use Natural Selectives. I really get it backwards every time. Selective Naturals, and they love that food. It seems to be what they finish first in their bowl. Hi, baby. I don't have anything. Hi, buddy. Can I steal you? Can I pignap you? <laughs> so this guy has been just a little booger lately. So I mix in these Wiki pea flakes. They're a smaller pea flake. They're like actually like flaky. So then I get these pea flakes from Guinea Dad. Ooh, I, I'm obsessed with. So these, I'll show you. They love these too. So here's the Guinea Dad pea flakes. So I give these as treats. I don't put them in their food um, because they're just so yum yum delish that we like to associate them as a treat, right guys? So here's them side by side so you can see the difference of what they look like. The quality of these is just amazing. Um, oh my goodness, guys, if you chew the bag, then they're gonna lose their freshness. 
I like to do a lot of supplement treats. Um, this one is digestive support, urinary support, and vitamin C. So other treats, they're typically Oxbow brand. I'll get, I think these are peppermint, and I think I also got baked apple. Another one they really liked is the carrot and dill, or just the bag. Girlfriend. Oh my God. He's literally, it's like a pull-up bar. He's going. <laughs> He's trying to do a pull-up. You're ridiculous. So you'll find the more pigs you have, some will love a certain treat and another one will hate it. So it's like, I could give two different pigs a baked apple treat and one will take it and the other one will literally just drop it and walk away from it. Another thing I bought is this emergency kit, um, critical care. I see a lot of people talk about critical care when they have like a sick piggy or a piggy that just had surgery, just in case if there's ever a situation where they need it, I don't have to wait for it to get here because I can't find this anywhere in any pet store. I bet nowhere has it. So I just went ahead and got one just to have. It's emergency kit content, appetite restore, three packets, recovery food, 15 packets, and then a feeding syringe. couple times a week on my dog walks in the morning, I go to this special place and I pick grass. This is like everyone's favorite and it's nice because it's free. So it's like the one thing that's free and they love it. Don't you, babe? <laughs> Did you see that? Just make sure you rinse it. I also encourage you to pick grass from the wild, meaning like not in someone's yard because then you run the risk of people potentially treating their yard with chemicals that you don't, you know, you don't know about, which can be very dangerous for them. Woods grass, or even if it's your grass and you know you don't treat your grass with any chemicals, pick that, always rinse. We rinse our veggies, right? So we rinse yours. So now it's veggie time. What they're really ultimately waiting for is veggies. We do that typically at the end of the night because I like to enjoy my time with them doing veggies because it's so fun for everybody. I'm gonna let you do it. Will you cut veggies? Yeah. While I pick up poop? While you bite me? Let's have on the menu some romaine. Do you have to pee? Pee so bad. Oh my god. Uh, you're like a little kid behind the camera. Okay, so I want some romaine. I want, I got some leafy greens. Some kind of pepper. There's a pepper in there. And then there's cilantro and some parsley. You gonna help me pick up poop? You gonna help me? You gonna help me? You're a good boy. You're such a good boy. Come on, let's pick up some poop. So David loves cleaning other herds litter boxes with me. Really, he just likes to come in here and spread his scent around, but I like to pretend like he's helping me. Come back in. Here we go. Okay, the best part of the night. Veggies! Hi guys! So instead of telling you what veggies I feed, how many times a week, I'm just gonna read it. I don't wanna mess it up and tell somebody something wrong. So fruits and vegetables. Fresh vegetables can be offered once a day and should be equivalent to about one cup per guinea pig per day. Leafy greens like romaine lettuce, kale, cilantro, and parsley should make up the bulk of your piggy's fresh produce. Vegetables like red onion, green pepper, broccoli, and tomatoes have high levels of vitamin C and are great daily options. Add carrots, zucchini, and sweet potato once or twice a week. To sum it up, leafy greens, romaine, parsley, cilantro should make up the bulk of what you're gonna be giving them in that one cup. And then you can add things like green pepper, red pepper, broccoli, tomato. I used to in the beginning when I only had a couple pigs, I would actually just take a cup and like put all the veggies in and measure it out that way. 
I've been doing it for so long now I could kind of eye it out and that's why I just have that big bowl. Should I get my werewolf pig? This is my werewolf skinny. Isn't he so cute? Look at all the hair. That's what makes him a werewolf skinny is if they grow hair all over their body and not just their nose and their ankles and their wrists. I learned that again from YouTube. Someone on YouTube taught me that I had a werewolf skinny. It's the coolest thing to me. Remember to feed your piggies. Remember to research what you're feeding your piggies. And love you guys.